my gosh. Alright. They're getting pretty PO'd. They're not full-fledged, like Super Saiyan PO'd Warper. But they're getting close. Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Subnautica. And in the last episode, we went down into the Blood Kelp, got ourselves Blood Oil and Deep Shrooms, and a crap ton of other resources. If we look in here, we got all this quartz. We have uh, not that many raw materials in there. We have quite a few in here. I uh, got miscellaneous. I've been making tons of hyd hydrochloric acid, um, polyaniline, aerogel, benzene, tons of benzene. All of these uh, really high tier resources that we're going to need to do some upgrades. Um, in here, I just got more miscellaneous stuff. Move fabricator over there. Switched it over to there so I could put another uh, ores storage right there. I actually have. This entire thing pretty much full of titanium, except for at one slot and that, well, you guys get the idea. It's pretty much full of titanium. So, today's episode, we're going to be heading down into the Grand Reef. We're going to go to the Degasi base, right there where we have it marked. We have a signal for it. We're going to go explore the Degasi base. We're going to head down and try to find the entrance into the Lost River and put a beacon there and somewhere really close to that beacon we're gonna get a site picked out to build our permanent base our mega base the one that we can actually build everything and not have to pick it up later because this base I'll be completely deconstructing and building it down there a lot better of a base this was just kind of getting the essentials down you know a room a moon pool and then one other room our base down in the deep Grand Reef is going to be absolutely amazing. So yeah guys, the plan for today is going to head down to the deep Grand Reef and locate the entrance to the Lost River so we can build around that. But first, I want to build a reinforced dive suit, which needs uh, synthetic fibers, which we learned the crafting recipe for in the last episode. Um, what does this actually take? Uh, two diamond, two titanium. Okay. We have plenty of diamond. And we have plenty of titanium. There we go. So this will protect us from the extreme heat down in the active lava zone, as well as just more protection in general. Because like the, uh, sharks, what's it called? The sand sharks? They, uh... Yeah, they don't feel too good. No, not the sand sharks. The uh, tiger plants. Those tiger plants that shoot the little things at you, well, they will not be an issue anymore. You don't take any damage while you're wearing these. To them, anyway. To other things, I'm sure you'll definitely take damage to. But, uh, honestly, we don't even need a radiation suit. We fixed the radiation in the Aurora. We're never going to use this again. And it takes a lot of storage space, so just dump it. There. We don't need it. Alright, so let's do a self-scan real fast. And nothing's changed. I'm still infected. But yeah, guys, I'm going to get some things together, what I need for the trip. And I'll meet you guys over at the Deep Grand Reef. Okay, guys, we're over here in the Grand Reef. Not in the Deep Grand Reef yet. And uh, I came across this wreck which I really want to look at because I believe the alien containment fragments are in this wreck but as you guys can see there's two warpers that are circling me right now so not the best situation but like I always do I'm gonna make a stupid decision here okay we're gonna save and we're gonna go in I got my reinforced dive suit, rebreather, uh, ultra high capacity O2 tank. Should be good. I'm gonna chug a lug some coffee real quick. And we're just gonna go for it. With our grappler arm shouldn't have much of an issue. Drill arm fragment. Let's see. Get out and look around these. Anything in here? 
know all that. Nothing in any of these boxes. I have a lot of data boxes I need to open to learn like upgrades for the uh, Cyclops. Like I have a huge amount of unknown upgrades for it. Alright, is there anything in here? Nope. More drill arm fragments. We're going to get teleported out of our vehicle. And I should be fine though. I just, I know it's coming. At any second, it's going to come. I'm just preparing myself for it. Alright. None of these boxes seem to have anything in them. So, Mr. Warper. Uh, Mr. Nether Warper. Okay. They don't seem to be incredibly aggressive right now. Which is a good thing. We have Scanning Fragment. Oh gosh, didn't mean to fall down here. Yeah, I did not mean to do that at all. I'm looking for a data box. Because I was hoping, really hoping there was going to be a data box. We have a lot of stuff down here, though. So... Maybe we get lucky and... Find the alien containment. That's one thing I really am wanting right now. All I'm seeing is scanner room fragments, though. Alright, let's head back up and go in the wreck. Where are we going to go in at? That's what we need to decide. Well, there's one way in. We got a lot of oxygen now, so this shouldn't be a huge of an issue. Wait, do I have my laser cutter? Oh, thank the Lord. That'd be my luck. Don't have my laser cutter. Let's see. Drill arm. Nothing of too much interest. Look at our oxygen, how slow it's going down. It's going down so slow and we have so much of it. That's crazy. Hope the warpers aren't hurting my prawn out there. Man, they are not happy at all. As the game can progresses and you get farther into the game they become a lot more aggressive too so we haven't felt the full force of a pissed off warper but we're uh, getting pretty close all right let's get this out so I have a lot ah data box all right what do I get docking bay repair module see there's more upgrades nutrient block that's awesome we have to try to remember our way out of here. Man, there is a warper very close. Right. Um, this is the door that we came in from, and we go down here and come out. All right. We go get some more oxygen. And then we'll go through that other door. Oh, stuck. Okay. Alright, so... Go through here. There's another sealed door. I'm just kind of watching my oxygen, but I have so much of it. It's not that big of an issue. God, those warper sounds are so ominous. They're so scary. Ah! Data box. Something new. Of course it's not. Blueprint. Repulsion cannon. What? Grapple arm, we have that. Um Is that it? Well that was kinda sucky. I was expecting a lot more. 
was expecting a whole lot more. Is that really all? Wait, can we go in here? No. Let's go outside and look around. Maybe there's another entrance somewhere that... Oh my gosh, Warpers. Maybe there's another entrance somewhere. I don't know. I guess I'm being optimistic. I don't think there is one, though. I can't get in there. I'm about to get teleported out. I'm about to get teleported out. Hey, I'm latched on. Drill him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you didn't like that, did you, big boy? I'm gonna repair real fast. No, you did not like that. Come at me, bro. Want to go again? All right. Is there an entrance in here? There is something right here. Oh my gosh. Dear Lord. Alright. They're getting pretty PO'd. They're not full-fledged like Super Saiyan PO'd Warper. But they're getting close. Yeah, we've already been in here. Somewhere else we've been. Okay. This wreck is officially cleared. So, we are going to get back in our Cyclops. Come on. That was absolutely horrible attempt. Alright. Lined up. Perfect. Okay, so we got the docking repair module, so whenever things are docked, it'll obviously repair. But if we look in here, we have... That's unknown. We know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. We do know that. We know that, and we know that. So we have, let's see. Uh, one, two, three things. And the Cyclops Debt Module Mach 1 is like one of the most important things in the game, and we still don't know it. And to go farther, we're going to have to know it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to look into where we can find that and, like, specifically go after that. One more melon here. Replant. And that worked out absolutely perfect. Okay. So, the... Um... Degasi base is right down there. So, let's head down there. I have two beacons that I made right before I left. When I was getting all my stuff together. So, we're going to head down there to Degasi base in the deep Grand Reef. I don't think I can fit the Cyclops down in there. There was one spot a long time ago. There was one specific spot that you could barely squeeze the Cyclops through. I mean, it banged it around, but you could get it in. But I don't know if that's still there. I really don't. This game has completely changed since my big playthrough before I did YouTube. Let's see. So we need to just keep going down. We might be able to actually get the Cyclops in. Like right here. Let's see. I actually got a second beacon for a reason. Because if we find a place to get our Cyclops in, we're going to need a place to get it out. And those are 
hard to come by a place to get it in and out. So we're going to drop that, not name it. We know what that means. We still have one beacon to put at the Lost River entrance whenever we find it. So, let's see. Let's get it lined up. Wait, where's the... Ooh, that guy's nasty. It's aggressive. Yeah, it shows us on our radar right there. Oh, Lord. That really scared me. That scared me so much. Okay, where is the Degasi base? Really confused right now. Um, where is it at? What is going on? Make a bad idea. Go out here. Where's the bacon? Okay, what the absolute heck is going on? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're really close. Alrighty, nice. I still hear warpers, so I know they're following us. So we need to head this way. There it is, okay. So, around in this area should be the entrance that we're looking for. And that guy's gonna attack us. He is going to definitely 100% attack us. Alright, spin this around. Turn it off. Oh, hello there! You ugly son of a gun. With the warper disappearing in the background. Alright. Get two uh, coffees making. Let's see. Got some first day. Got a beacon. Stasis rifle. Why do I have two titanium? I have no idea. Alright. Let's go. Maybe there's a data box. Question mark? No, it looks like it's just going to be a PDA. Let's look around. Is there anything down below? Oh my, deal recharges. Right. There we go. Okay. So. Log three. Torgles, log three. We'll get the other logs from inside first and then we'll listen to them all. Just kind of look around out here first. I'm about to get attacked by this stinking. Stinking. Wait, what the heck? BMP didn't get us. Oh, isn't that an amazing. Isn't that an amazing sight? Just. Wow. Just what I wanted to see. Yeah, oxygen is not an issue whatsoever. Like, at all. If I can hit the right key. Alright. Another PDA. That is... Voice log 7. Alright, so voice log 7. And Bert's log three we have not seen. Wait, was there a ladder here I just missed? No, this is the top one. Okay. So we're having to go around to the other well, entrance we'll to get in there. Okay. Oh, there's a data box. Yay me. Is this 
guy. I'm gonna come back for some more. You wanna come back? You want some? Come get it. Come get it. You wanna go? Get drilled! Yep, that EMP is like broken, I think. It used to work like knockout. I'll be doggone. Wasn't even expecting that to be here at all. But I'll be doggone if that isn't what I was wanting. Voice log 9. Disaster. Get this data box. Shield generator, yes! That's big. We really gonna need that in the future. My, I just can't get over how slow my oxygen is going down. Creature egg. What the heck? Oh, is this the cute fish? No way! Orange tablet. There we go. So we just got that achievement. So we just got... That means that it confirms that we got all of the PDAs. Alright. We got everything out here we're going to need. So. Let's get out. And look at our PDAs. Let's see. Gossy survivors. No... No, that's not what we're wanting to look at. Degasi. Hertz log 6, 7. I think we need to listen to all these. 6, 7, 8, and 9. We'll listen to these while I'm looking for the entrance to the uh, Lost River. So I'll just be quiet and keep up my work and y'all can listen. We're already 200 meters below sea level. Do you want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again Welcome and up. again Captain. until it's shut off. Systems online. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Engine something that shouldn't up. be. You're mad! going all the same and I have an idea you two are gonna follow but if you do be mindful your authority stopped at sea level okay so the mercenaries completely lost it and it wants to keep going deeper and deeper please stop fighting and listen we're sick what how you've been coughing right feeling itchy blisters yeah Warning. The biomagics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Engine. Material. Oh, Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Alright, so now they have come to realization that they are badly infected with the Karar. Or at least the son has uh, realized it and told them. Uh, just now hit me if we can't go any deeper than our Cyclops, so we're going to have to go out in the prawn. Which is going to be slower, but at least we can go down that deep. Margaret, Meda, has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Meda? Say, kid, I brought you some. <gasps> is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. And make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? 
You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Man. She does not care about much. I have had it with you risking our lives. We're about to realize oh, that, that stinking bounty hunter is going to get them all killed. Study. I'm just bringing them home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. That we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Oh, dang. Stinking Margaret. Got them all killed. Alright, so. Uh, here's the Lost River. So... Let's name it. Alright, so. Lost River Mark. Check. I'm not going to go explore today, but what I will do is find, or at least start looking for a base location. So. I mean, man. I didn't know that the Degasi base was so close to the entrance. Alright, there's the entrance. Let's look for a relatively open area. It doesn't have to be flat. There's not really any flat areas in this whole game. And, uh, actually I'll land down here and we'll listen to the next PDA, which is both of these, I believe. We'll listen to both these because we haven't heard them. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So... It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Alright, so... The, uh, bounty hunters yet again wanting to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And uh, from what the dad was saying, or Paul, apparently they like swap out kidneys and are pretty much immortal. Because he said, on this planet without being able to swap out organs and stuff, I am mortal. Which leads me to believe that 
you know, they are immortal, pretty much. So uh, let's listen to his final log. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mader appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Hmm. So that's after the base got attacked by a Leviathan, which the stupid bounty hunter towed back on the back of the submarine. God dang it. You know what, you stupid thing? Come here. Let's go. Don't like that, do ya? Somebody actually fights back for once? Well, I would use my stasis rifle, but that's absolutely pointless against them. So, I'm just looking for a place to build. There's plenty of thermal vents around here for power. So, that is not going to be an issue. You know, I'm almost tempted to build in the Lost River. Almost. Just because it's kind of flat and open. It's just that one corridor, that one tunnel. Hmm. I don't really know. I mean, down here looks pretty good. Or was it over here? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm kind of losing my mind, losing my sense of direction. Let's head back over here real quick. Look around. All right, there's the base. The Lost River entrance is right there. Okay, base entrance. I want like a halfway decent area. I want it to be pretty close. I can build down in there. I saw a flat-ish area. Let's look right down here. What does this look like? Well, it looks a lot flatter from above. Much flatter from above. Hmm. Okay. So... Let's go look over on this side, because the base is right up there. The Degasi base. Let's go over here and look at this spot. We don't have to make a decision today, but uh, we can at least look around some. Let's see. All the dust clear. I mean, right here. We got plenty of vents around. It doesn't have to be completely level, because I can fix that with the legs that come down from like foundations and buildings. I can make it somewhat level. Yeah, I feel like this is probably going to be our area. Right here, it's the best I've found anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do it for this episode. Next episode, guys, we... Well, the plan is we're going to be building a base. So, you know what? We're about to fight him, aren't we? Where you at? Let's go. Okay. Back to what I was saying before I was interrupted. Next episode, we will be... Oh my gosh. Leave me alone! Oh. 
Is this thing dead? Nope, not dead. Are you dead? No, you're not. Okay, now you're dead. Okay, back to what I was saying. Next episode, plan is build a base down here. Don't know how far we'll get on the building. Hopefully we'll get a pretty decent base built. That's the plan for next episode, guys. If you did enjoy this episode, though, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one.